Hey everyone, Luke here. Hope you're doing fantastic. So, today I'm just going to talk about um, an update on my own program. So, you know, I've made um, a couple videos just on my own hair tests. You know, just talking about, um, you know, just really showing you guys how to interpret the test, showing you the metals that I've eliminated, that I continue to eliminate showing you my patterns and my progression, right? So I just kind of wanted to give you guys an update on where I'm at with my program. Um, I just got my latest hair test back. Um, I am still in sympathetic dominance, so my potassium is four or lower. So, uh, so sympathetic dominance, right? So my potassium, which is K, is at four. Okay. I know it's weird that they made potassium the letter K on the periodic table, right? But K is potassium. Probably should have chosen like PO or something, right? I think that might be someone else. <laughs> but, um, well, I know P is phosphorus, right? But anyways, my potassium is at four. Okay. So sympathetic dominance is still present. Okay. Although it is up from two. Okay. It was two before. I'm letting in a lot of copper. So I'm going through a copper dump. Um, I haven't been, I've been eliminating copper for about a year and a half. And my copper is actually pretty high. I think it's about seven or eight right now. Um, and these are the really the thing, major things. Really the sympathetic dominance, the copper dub. I'm in slow oxidation. Um, I'm like borderline uh, three lows. Um, but yeah, that's not very interesting. I think it really interests you guys more and interests myself more to you to really share my experiences right now on the program. So on my program, things that I have struggled with have been um, definitely um, addiction to pornography, uh, masturbation, um, smoking pot, and um, wet dreams. Okay, so I haven't looked at pornography in about three or four months, and this is um, I think part of a healing reaction that I went through where um, I eliminated some toxic potassium. Okay. Um, and so it's important to realize that there are childish minerals, okay? And um, your body can absorb uh, certain forms of minerals. Like we all need potassium, for example. But there's certain forms of potassium that are, uh, that your body isn't designed to run off, right? And your body will eliminate them at some point. So I eliminated some toxic potassium. And then um, this has helped me control my second chakra better, okay? Um, for me, my second chakra is very weak. Part of it stems from childhood, sexual issues with my mother. Part of it stems from, um, I think, struggling with the masturbation habit and using that as an outlet at a very young age and basically depleting my body through masturbation quite significantly, quite extremely, I would say. Um, you know, along with a pretty bad addiction to pornography, it used to be much worse when I was like 16, it must be like much, much worse. Um, and so I haven't had a wet dream in about three months either, um, which is good, and I feel more control in that part of the body. Okay, you have to understand that in most young men, their second chakra spins backwards, okay? So this the chakra is supposed to spin to the right. In most young men, it's spinning to the left. Uh, part of this is because immaturity in young men Part of this is being raised in a society that um, teaches young men um, basically how to the wrong sort of way to go about sex, how women are objects. Um, part of this is we live in a very sex crazed culture. And part of it is also you have to understand the, the young male mind, this is true for women too, um, although I wouldn't say quite as much, they don't have an issue with pornography. But, you know, the young male mind was never designed to have access to pornography, okay? Think about, you know, our evolution as a species, right? Having a young 13-year-old man, or at that point I would say a child, you know, a 13-year-old child, having access to any sort of sexual, um, you know, any sort of sexual thing that they could ever want at the click at the tip of their fingers. You know, it's literally just, you type into Google any sort of sexual adventure, um, anything you can imagine, you can literally find it on the internet, right? And um, it's very difficult when young men discover that, right? Because it, you know, it comes all at once and their brains are still young and maturing and it's very hard to handle, right? And it's basically, you know, it's such a stimulant, right? And it's such an information overload and, um, 
You know, it's very difficult for many young men, including myself, to overcome. So that's been a thing for me, I would say, in the last three months. It's more control, right, over um, that area of my body, okay? Um, I think part of the control also came with that I was in a relationship um, a while ago, uh, and then being in that relationship taught me a lot of things, I think. Um, you know, I think that it taught me a lot about controlling that better, right? Even though we're not together now, I think that the relationship taught me a lot of things, right? Um, other things are just the continue the continuing detwisting of my body. Like I mentioned in the last video I made about the deep healing space, I pop my neck every day, probably two, three times a day I pop my neck, and the amount of popping that it does, um, you like people will have a hard time believing that's coming from my neck. Like, I don't know if I can do it for you guys now. I don't know, you can probably hear that. Um, and I do that four or five times a day. It sounds gnarly. Chiropractors tell me I shouldn't do it, you know, but, uh, you know, when your body's detwisting, I don't really believe chiropractors are right, because they, I don't think chiropractors understand the program, really, and they, they're treating with another subset of the population. But when your body's detwisting and more etheric energy is flowing through your, your nervous system, you know, you, op you kind of get told to twist your body in certain ways to release tension in it. And, yeah, it sounds gnarly when I pop my back like that, and uh, and most professional chiropractors would tell me I shouldn't do that. But uh, my body is literally telling me, like, Luke, pop your neck like this to release tension. And when I do that, I can feel my jaw uh, loosen up a little, and my, my, bite, my bite gets a little uh, cleaner. My, bite, uh, my teeth come together more, and my bite gets better. Okay. The same thing is happening in my hips, is my hips tighten, and... Um, you know, it detwists, you know, I pop, I do the spinal twist and I get a similar kind of thing happening in my back, actually, is my body detwists. Um, my shoulders, hopefully, seem to be getting pulled back more, um, which is good. So, copper imbalance is, uh, you know, associated with um, rounding of the shoulders and the head forward. And it's also parts to, to um, it really has to do with how I was raised. I've been sympathetic dominance for my whole program, almost. And this is because I had the cringing posture. I had it from a child because I was raised in a very abusive environment. I watched my mom and dad basically kill each other. And it's very, very stressful on me, and they would take it out on me and things. And my body, as a as a, an adaptation to stress, developed a cringing posture, right? So shoulders too far forward, right? And there's a bump on my neck. You might be able to see that it's slowly going away. My, my head is too far forward, right? It's because you're cringing, right? It's because what do you do when there's... Especially if like you're a child, right? And there's like a stressor, right? You know, you you know, you, you cringe for, away from the, you know, from the from the, you know, the violence or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And so, when the body is twisted, it actually uh, it puts pressure on the nervous system, right? So if this is twisted, right, it'll put pressure on uh, you know the vertebrae right there in your spine in your nervous system, and it'll cause your nervous system to fire too much. And so as I come out of sympathetic dominance, right? And my copper, I dump copper to become, you know, and I become more grounded and more relaxed. Um, the body detwists and it relieves the pressure on your nervous, on my nervous system. You know what I mean? So that's been huge for me. The detwisting of my body has been really big for me. Popping my neck, popping my back, getting chiropractic adjustments, doing deep, deep tissue massage. Um, let's see if I can find a, uh, so this guy right here. This guy right here, I use on my back, and this is like a, I don't know what this is called, it's called the Massage Block. You go to massageblocks.com, and what I do, I basically, is I uh, I lay on this and put my, my lower back on it, and then I rub out sore spots in my lower back. As my pelvis actually detwists, I actually rub out sore spots in my lower back that I actually get sore spots, because my certain muscles um, activate, and certain, my, my tendons and stuff kind of move, right, as I detwist. It sounds crazy, but it's true, right? So the sauna therapy really facilitates this process, and honestly, what helps my body detwist more than anything, more than any, more than the sauna therapy, more than chiropractic, is the pushing down exercise. Moving energy downwards will make you like a rod. And what is a rod? A rod is straight. This is especially true for men, because men are supposed to be straight, and they're supposed to be like rods, right? They're supposed to be, uh, you know, it's like the truth. I don't even know how to explain it. You know, the truth is like a rod. It's like, it's north and south, right? Um, you know, the path is straight and narrow, right? Um, and that's what I, you know, you can, I could feel myself straightening out 
and you kind of think of it like a string, right? So when you move energy downwards, um, there's more energy pulling down on your feet, right? And so if you think of like your body is twisted, everyone's spines are twisted, right? So it's like a string, right? And it's like a string that's coiled up. And as you pull the string taut, you know, it becomes straighter, right? And that's what happens to your body as you move energy downwards. It actually makes your body more taut, right? And it straightens out the slowly, it's a slow process, but it straightens out the body. And it's helped me tremendously. Um, even talking about it right now is helping me do it and I can feel my, my posture get better. Um, so that's been big for me is controlling my second chakra better, eliminating pornography and wet dreams, straightening out my body. I eliminated a, a sinus infection. As I eliminated the toxic potassium, I went through a sinus infection. Um, a neti pot really helped me move through that infection. And I felt a lot better after that infection. I felt more grounded. Infections and retraces can be very tough, but it's important to realize that at the end, you always feel better. At the end of my retracings, I always feel more grounded. I always feel better. I always feel straighter. I always feel forward movement, right? Um, and it should be a time of rejoicing because you're overcoming something in your, you know, you're overcoming and you're, it's like a marker. Retracings are like markers on your development, your path of development, right? As you develop, you will go through these retracings and they're an inevitability of the program, right? Although they can be quite scary sometimes, they can be quite tough, but they're to be embraced, these purification reactions. Okay, I think I've, um, I dragged off, I've dragged on, I should say, enough. Um, that's all I can think of, you know, and hopefully, you know, you notice a little bit of a difference in me. I watched my old videos a while back, and I have noticed a better structure, it looks like, in my body, and um, I seem a little bit more grounded. A little bit less childlike, a little less coppery, hopefully, um, as I continue to balance my copper, which has taken some time. You know, I have been on the program three and a half years now, and I still continue to dump a tub kind of copper. Right, you know, my body is loaded with copper. It's um, it's kind of a mind trip, you know. But that's it. You know, that's basically the updates on my program. Um, comment below if you have any questions. Don't forget to like the video, and I'll talk to you guys next time.